So, let's look at how to create aliases in OBIE's physical layer. First, let me hide the presentation layer. And let's get the physical diagram for the tables employees, customers, and orders. Physical diagram. Collapse. And let's see. I'll put them in this way. Now, creating an alias in OBIE's physical layer is easy. By right-clicking a table and saying new object alias, you get create a new physical table. But the difference from an, a normal physical table property screen is that it now has a property called source table, which is called employees in this case. And this is the source for the alias. And let's give this alias a useful name. A useful name is usually uh, a name that describes the role of this alias um, of, of this table. So in this case, we're going to create an alias which represents the employees that are account managers. Now you can override a lot of properties from the original table, but not all of them. One of them that you can override are the caching properties. Something you cannot override is the column definition. If a new column is added to the original table, the alias will automatically be updated. It is not possible to add new columns to an alias, and it is also not possible to edit the data type or the name of a column in an alias. Something that is not inherited from the original table is the keys. So an alias can have a different primary key than the original table and as you can see you can add it to the alias foreign keys are also something that is not uh, taken from the original table and this is very useful because you want to join to an alias uh, may, you may want to join to an alias on a different uh, way and well, let's skip, skip adding a foreign key for now. So, if we now say OK, you will see that there's a new alias, a new physical table added with a different uh, icon to the physical layer. And let's see what happens if we add this to the physical diagram. you will see that it is not currently not related to any of the other tables. So let's uh, reorder. As I just explained, an alias can have its own uh, foreign keys. So let's create a new foreign key to this alias from customers because this relationship is the account manager relationship from customer to employees. Let's first remove the account manager relationship by selecting it and pressing delete. And let's create a new join from customers to this new alias. No. The key, as I have added, of the alias is the employee ID. And we don't want to reference it from the customer ID, but from the account manager ID. So now we've created a new alias in the physical layer and added it to the physical schema. Please remember that uh, everything we're doing here is uh, metadata. So we are editing information that OBIE has about the physical sources. So everything here is data about the physical sources. And adding an alias or dropping a table will not alter the
the contents of the physical source itself. The employee's uh, hierarchy upwards, as you may remember, uh, goes to departments, to locations, and to countries. And we just created the account manager's uh, alias. And of course, because these are in fact the same tables, uh, an account manager as well works for a department uh, which is in a location, which is in a country. And uh, in the same way that the employees table has a different role here than it has over here, you cannot use the same department table as well connected to the account manager's alias because it also exists in a different role. So we're going to create the whole hierarchy upwards for this route as well. Um, so for departments, a new object alias called departments alias manager the next one is locations and finally the countries Now, let's add the joins in a different way. There's a join from the employee's alias account manager to the department's alias account manager. So, let's open this one. Add a foreign key to the alias. Select the table. We select the department's alias. OK. We say department ID equals department ID. And it now comes up with the question, if I want to create the department ID as the primary key in the alias department's alias. Remember that no keys are inherited, so and we didn't add a, a key to this new alias. So I say yes. OK. And now let's take a look at... Um, this table in the physical diagram. Well, the layout is a bit different now. Let's look at this one and this one. You see that the foreign key has been added. Now let's add locations as well. And let's add the new alias for countries. So there we have them. And now let's add the join for this route from departments to locations. Let's say location ID equals location ID on both sides country ID equals country ID you may have noticed that during the creation of the last two foreign keys the system didn't ask me to create a primary key on the tables uh, the foreign key referenced uh, I don't know why it did not ask but let's check if it in fact created a primary key by double clicking this thing and you will see that this key has indeed been created on the column which we selected and this also holds for countries <laughs>